Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. I'm in the nether. I hear a ghast, but I'm not sure where it is. I see the feet of a pig man. So this is a new little tunnel that I'm building, a little pathway. And, um, whoa, that looks so freaky. Coming down to the end there. And this is the nether fortress. Um, and I screwed something up. I thought that that blaze spawner was going to be right over here. And it's not. Um, this is, I thought this was going to be a two birds with one stone sort of thing. Build it out that way. Because in the Taiga Island, I, uh, I set up a portal. Haven't gone through it. But it's that way. About 500 blocks in the nether. Five or six hundred blocks something like that um where am i at <laughs> 44 so yeah it's going to be uh six or seven hundred blocks in the nether uh so that's uh so that's that's a little bit of work um i have to go get some more sand because i just don't have a good enough supply of glass um so this is the portal that goes to my place this is the ladder that leads up to the roof of the nether and i've done nothing up there uh, still need to work on that a bit. And over here is the community portal. And then past there is the portal that goes out to that, that village that I found. <laughs> this tunnel's really bothering me. I need to widen it. And I intend to do so. But one thing at a time. Hello. <laughs> Bring some glass. Lots of noises. So many sounds. Oh, there's... Hello. You can't see me here. But you will once I get to the other end of the tunnel here. So, this is the way I have been getting into the nether fortress. Which I will leave. You can see the tunnel over there. And depending on what I want to do... I may, I may do a couple things. It's gone. Um, this tunnel here, once I get down to this point, I may have a branch over here and actually come into the fortress through this little structure here. And then, but the, the blaze spawner is down at the other end down here. And I think... I totally got turned around and I thought it was on the other side. So I may go down the tunnel that I made. Well, hello. Oh, hello, guys. So we have a small problem here you can go and turn you can light these things up pretty heavily and it won't actually turn off the damn spawner a little frustrating so here's what we're gonna do oh my gosh I'm seeing things I totally thought that uh, I was looked up and there was a wither skeleton staring at me Who's shooting at me now? So, I need to get this... Uh, leave me alone! Oh, shoot. Careful of overshooting the blaze. Okay. So... Uh, so I've been playing around in creative. It takes quite a bit of light to turn these things off. Uh, 
Oh, there's a wither skeleton right there. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, if you want, if you really want me, come over here and try and get me. Oh, goodness. Okay, so, said I've been playing around in creative and figuring out, trying to figure out exactly what it takes to shut one of these things off and it's involved. Like really involved, okay. I should have more fire resistance potions than I do, but I don't, so. Uh, so these things have a, have a spawning area that's a little bit farther than the little platform here. And that is the basic problem. So, oh, let me eat. I'm hungry. Heal up. Okay, so we're going to put out some glowstone here. And hopefully we don't die in the process. Oh my gosh. Just go away. I mean, I don't mind your blaze rods, but geez. Ugh. Okay. So anyway, I... Uh, <laughs> We figured out I, I did figure out a process here for turning these things off and as I said it's it's a tad involved but dudes part of the problem is that uh, these guys spawn in the air which is a problem oh it's so nerve-wracking doing that over lava but that noise was different. Sound like a jet engine turning on. Okay, so. And I have to keep an eye on my fire resistance potion. So that's kind of critical. And I have to figure out how I'm going to get out of here once I lay in all these, uh, this glowstone. So, as I said, I've been playing around in creative. It's getting loud here. Sorry about that. And uh, I sort of worked out a scheme whereby using glowstone, you can, and I, you can actually shut these things down. Um, and it takes more than you would think. Some of these guys are spawning from other places, but... Okay, maybe that'll calm things down a little bit. I've got two and a half, two minutes, almost three minutes of fire resistance. I don't want to accidentally shoot any piggies. Okay. So, goodness gracious, look at all, that. who's shooting at me from there? So anyway, so this, this pattern here, placing uh, glowstone above and then ultimately glowstone below, seems to fix the problem. It seems to stop the spawning, which is nice. Um, And maybe I'm wrong, but it certainly seemed to do it when the in the creative world that I was uh, testing in. Uh, so my plan here, of course, is to build a farm, a blaze spawner farm, because wait, there's a guy down there, isn't there? A minute and a half. So much quieter. Now I see I see blazes around. 
There's a skeleton over there too. But see, that seems to have calmed things down a lot. So, one block on top, four blocks out to the side, and ring the... So, the four blocks out on each side is the spawning perimeter. And, um... Hmm. This is going to be interesting. I hear bones... Carefully take out this guy. He's gone. Okay. Oh, hello, Mr. Wither Skeleton. So, that does seem to have calmed down the spawning, which is awesome. And uh, so, yeah, the next step is we need to work on some other aspects of this. So, um, I'm probably gonna end up working on this a lot off camera because this is kind of a pain in the butt. Um, so, let's see if I can build some stair steps up here. Boop, oops, boop, that'll work. So, next step was, I wanna be able to turn this thing off once I'm done with it. And you're going to start shooting at me, aren't you? Oh, shoot. And I'm going to need more fire resistance potions. Okay, so. Um, <sighs> so anyway, um... The glowstone is, of course, temporary. Uh, oh, man. Ugh. Um, so, I want to be able to turn the farm off once I get it constructed. And, um... <clears throat> Oh, that's that weather skeleton down there. Uh, yeah, so I want to be able to turn the farm off once it's constructed. And it seems like the way to do that is by uh, putting up redstone lamps like this and doing it one block lower than I would like. So this is actually inside the spawning space. Uh, which is not great because it in theory reduces the efficiency of the spawner uh, but if I if I lift it up and make it put it up where I think it should go um, it doesn't completely turn off the spawns and that's no good oh man so dude you worry me okay oh, so I may need some additional um, some additional stuff I got six minutes here still um, I, ne I may need to make some more resources here but uh, so if you leave two spaces above the spawner which in theory is what uh, where the the blazes can spawn. Uh, it, lighting up a whole panel of redstone lamps at that height does not actually shut down the spawner, um, which is uh, a little frustrating, a little disappointing, but it's the way it is. Uh, so. Putting it one level down inside the spawning area uh, does actually shut off the spawns. Um, and it doesn't seem to impact spawning rates that much. I didn't do a scientific test, but um, it seems to be okay. And honestly, how much... How many blaze rods do I actually need? Uh, this thing should deliver blaze rods and 
experience. Okay, so the other thing I need to figure out is how to get this all turned on. Uh, I need a redstone torch tower to go up to this, and I need to figure out which side to do it from. Uh, but for the time being, the glowstone itself should do, and I will figure out the rest um, in at some future time. So I've got... Let me put down these supplies because they're kind of, they will be necessary. So I've not built this in survival yet. Um, I need to figure out the right process to do it. Uh, fortunately, we are sitting on a pillar, which will help considerably. Um, but there will still be a fair amount of scaffolding. I just need to figure out, do I want to enter it from this side? All right. Unfortunately, there's more fortress over there. So... If I can't, I don't know that I want to tunnel in from over here and put the entrance in this side. So the entrance may have to be accessed via the fortress, uh, which is fine. So the entrance will be down below. And so somewhere over here, we'll stair step down and uh, we'll lose. This is spawning space for the wither skeletons. But uh, what you going to do? Uh, and then there'll be a switch down there which will turn on and off this huge array of uh, redstone lamps and which will shut down the spawning and uh, yeah and then we'll uh, have a series uh, you know I've got I've got just the normal stuff here I've got a bunch of repeaters pistons uh, pressure plates blocks and basically a funnel all of the the blazes down into a single block down there I may put in a crusher I may not um, and then uh, and then uh, sit there and you bash them with the sword or you throw potions of harming at them and they uh, they die and give you all their experience and blaze rods especially with the looting sword and you end up with quite a bit of blaze rods so anyway so that's why i'm thinking this tunnel if i cut over here and through here that's a straight shot over to the spawner and that would work it would also work to come in through here go down and hang a right so anyway that's i'm working on that a little bit i'm going to work on my my tunnel over there and probably get that going in the way i want it maybe explore going down this other tunnel to the to the point where it lines up with the spawner and then cutting over maybe like go down here i do have the coordinate of the spawner so i could just come down here to some point and say right well it's right here let's just start a new tunnel down that way don't know it's hard to say uh, i will play around with uh different options the important thing is that this ends up being safe <laughs> i want this to be completely piggy proof and that's uh it's easy enough to do up to a point but when we need to interface with like the nether fortress, I need to put some sort of barrier there. And we can't put wooden doors because the picks can break them down. So that's so why I've been using fence gates. And uh, maybe we'll use iron doors. I don't know. So, anyway. Not too much else been going on. Um, it's taken a little bit of effort getting all of the resources. All those sticky pistons. Because I still don't have... I mean, I've got... I know where a slime chunk is. Um, and, uh, ooh. so I'll keep this going. And when I get lined up with that, I'll just cut over another tunnel there and just keep going. And then I can think about putting rail carts in here and, uh, figure out the quickest ways to get around. So that's, I think that's it. Just wanted to update you on that a little bit. I haven't been doing too much else. Um, this has been a bit of work um, and it's just kind of been downtime I haven't had a huge amount of time just to play around um, let's see 
and anything else here and take these back home oh um minecon we should talk about minecon so minecon's happening in september <sighs> it's nice and loud uh minecon's happening in september what's going on here oh took a little while to load uh the end of september and the cool thing is uh, they had a thing on the information site, the information page, saying, hey, volunteer to be a Minecon agent. I was like, I don't know what that is, but... Um, so I, I looked it up, and it was basically volunteering to work at the convention. Um, you have to work one full day. And uh, if you do that, then you get... Uh, you get to get into the rest of the convention. So basically, I, I would be working either Saturday or Sunday. And then uh, and then the other day, so say I work on Saturday, and then on Sunday, um, I get into the convention for free, which is kind of cool. So, the, uh, so I signed up for that. I said, I'll, I'll do that. And uh, I just, I got an email earlier this week saying that I had been accepted. So, I will be at Minecon. I don't even have to buy a ticket. I just have to show up and promise to work, which is pretty cool. So, I will be there. Um, I will be there both days. I am fully planning on taking, um, working that whole weekend. So... Uh, if, if anyone happens to be there and it's in Anaheim, which is, you know, not that far away from where I live. So super convenient anyway. Um, and then I don't have to worry about the tickets selling out before I'm able to get one. Although there's more tickets this year than there were last year. Last year it was 10,000. This year it's 12,000. So, uh, and the, the ticket sales go on at a reasonable time. Uh, for people on the west coast of the United States. But, even so, um, I will be there. Hang on a second. So anyway, that is that. Um, I will be at Minecon. And if anyone's there, I'd love to say hi. And uh, so hopefully you come by and find me. And I think that's it. So that's that. Uh, thank you for watching. And I will see you next time. Bye.